Hey YouTube, it is Jack again with Toy Dojo. And now we have moved on. We went and looked at the um, Legends class. We looked at the Titan Master class. We looked at some uh, Voyagers. We looked at some Deluxes. So now, or actually, we didn't look at Voyagers. This is a Voyager, duh. So now we're going to look at the Voyager class. And what I have here is Nucleon and Galvatron, a Voyager class. So looking at it, it comes with your standard Voyager box. On the back here, you're going to see where it shows Galvatron in his robot mode. It shows how his head comes off and turns to a mini Megatron, which is cool for the uh, Titan Master. And then going down here, it shows him in his cannon mode. Shows then going into like this kind of a uh, vehicle mode here. And it shows that the mini Megatron can sit inside there. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and check it out. Instruction seat, put the box off to the side, take out the cannon, take out Galvatron here, and put the box to the side. The insert, I should say. Alright, instruction sheet again shows Galvatron here on the front. Open it up. On one side, it takes you from robot mode to cannon mode. And in the back, it takes you from cannon mode down to like the vehicle tankish mode here on the bottom. So this is the one figure out of the line that I was like, I cannot wait because finally they made Galvatron look like his actual cannon. And I think they did a pretty good job um, by looking at it. There are some things I'm like, meh, whatever about the figure itself. But all in all, I think it's a, it's a good looking figure. So let's take this. So we've got his cannon right here, and it's going to go onto his arm. Where's that darn thing go? Well, come making a liar out of me, dummy. Pardon me, guys. It's the first time I actually opened this guy up here. So let me look at this real quick. Oh, duh, just goes right there. So it's gonna go attached onto that hole the right there. I don't know why I didn't see that. So there you go. Now you got him with his cannon on his arm. Just like that. Pick that up. So Galatron in his Voyager class is take this off. Eh, we'll leave it on there for right now. As far as height wise, I'm gonna bring in Brainstorm who was from that same class, and I popped off his head, and he's around here somewhere. There he goes. So let's put his head back on, just so we can kind of show the sizes of the two. So again, he is a Voyager class uh, figure. Good size. He's bigger than this Voyager class from back in the day. But look at that. So taking a look at him, take the cannon off real quick just to kind of look at his colors. He's got some nice purple going on here. Uh, it's like a darker purple here. The mask is purple itself, or the crest, the crown of it. Purple, purple logo with the silver trim on there. He's got red spots on his abdomen area. Down here on the uh, crotch section, this is like a gunmetal uh, gray. Again, down here, more of that gunmetal gray color. Red right here for the kneecaps, gunmetal gray going down, gunmetal gray on the feet. And then he's got that uh, gray plastic here uh, on that. Turn around to the back, he's got some more purple here. He's got a translucent orange like they have on the cannon here. That more of that gunmetal gray back here on the back. The only thing I didn't like, now one of the things I didn't like I should say, is that the treads are purple. I feel like they should have made the treads a different color. They could have made it... Maybe that gunmetal gray. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I'll take it because it's Galvatron and he's a cannon. So I like it. The cannon itself is really neat. It's got like that translucent um, orange here. It's got some silver paint right over here on this part of the barrel. And this is just the uh, standard gray plastic. And it's got some uh, red paint bits right here as well. And this purple uh, piece right there as well. 
So, some nice different color variations on the cannon here. And again, I do like it. I'm like, man, Galvatron is an actual gun. Reminiscence 2, I'm going to go back, 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 old school. Stand there, Galvatron. And reach behind me. Right here. Let's see if I don't knock stuff over. That's my old G11, and he is not complete, and he's missing a lot of parts. But so there's Galvatron back in G1. So that's when he was a cannon. So big difference from the 80s up to today, what technology does and what we can now do um, as far as with the uh, the figures. So as a kid, this was awesome. As an adult, nah, not so much. Cool because of what it is, but as an adult to play with, eh. So let's take a look at this guy. All right, now. Again, I'm just going to take a short break here. Oh, you know what? Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and pull off the Titan Master. This opens up, and this is more for transformation. But I'm going to take off the Titan Master here, and let's look at him before we go to break. Pull him off to the side here. So, Titan Master. Again, Galvatron face right there, red eyes. Open him up. And it's really, really hard to tell by looking at this figure. But that is Megatron. That's Megatron's head. Not if we can kind of get in on that there to kind of show how that's Megatron right there. So that's a Megatron face right there. And really just a cool little figure. They should have painted that maybe silver. And some more of this, maybe some silver bits. Because all you're getting here is just the, the plastic uh, mold itself. And that's it. So What we didn't go over either was articulation. So these here go up that shoulders come up and they're on a ratchet and that's for the cannon piece right there or the uh, go down go all the way around like that taking this off here you do have an upper bicep swivel there you got a shoulder bend double jointed like that that's more for transformation hands do go in but again transformation reasons why And no wrist swivel on this one. Waist articulation, and that's utilizing transformation. Hip skirts move up, you can get the legs to go out, like that. You can get them to go forwards. You can get them to go backwards. You can get a bend at the knee, like that. You can get a toe tilt forwards and backwards, and side to side. So a lot of good posability on this figure itself. Okay, so now we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have him in his cannon mode. Alright, and we're back. And here we can see we have him in his space cannon mode. And it's it's actually decent. I have to say, for it being a, a Galvatron in his cannon mode, it's a good size. Uh, let's bring in... Scourge... And let's bring in Cyclonus from the Combiner's Ward line. So you can kind of see again, just he's a lot bigger than Scourges, and he's even bigger than Cyclonus. If we look at them toe to toe here, just Cannon obviously is a lot bigger, but he's got the nose cone there. So he's a big figure and a good size for his robot mode. Or, I'm sorry, his uh, cannon mode. Bring him next to Optimus here. Again, you can see it's it's big. It's a big... Obviously, we know, again, in the cartoon, he wasn't this big as it compared to, to Optimus, because that's just ridiculous. But he's a good size. He was a little fiddly back here. These don't peg in really well in the back back here. All this stuff pegs in together, but it doesn't really peg in very well. And um, you can get him to sit like that. You can rotate these down if you want to give them more of a when you killed Starscream in the movie. That way you can kind of sit down like that. He's got that mode going on as well. I didn't find a place for the Titan Master Megatron to sit in anywhere as far as like to go anywhere on here. The instructions don't show it either. So I just put him inside here which is going to be where he's going to sit. 
in the next mode he sits right inside there so these do rotate again to give you different options as far as how you want to pose him uh, in his cannon mode so you can get him any way you want to this here doesn't rotate at all doesn't move uh, this either so yeah basically he's a cannon um, you can have this sitting up and maybe if you want to you can sit your Titan Master here to kind of sit down but it's not meant for that I think they're just a little bit too small for sitting there I think he could, he could sit there I guess if he wanted to watch himself blow up Starscream he could sit there and do that it doesn't peg in anywhere but it will sit there just fine like that so again you have that option for him um, and that's pretty much it for cannon mode. I mean, there's not much more to say other than he's a cannon. Like I said, he looks nice. I think they did a decent job at doing this. On the bottom, yeah, there's some hollow bits, but again, you're not going to look at it from the bottom. You're gonna, if you're going to set him in cannon mode, he's going to be facing you just like that. And that's what you're going to be getting out of him. So, I think he looks good. The Decepticon logo, again, is right there on his chest. So, just a nice overall cannon figure, I believe. It's better than G1 one. G1 one was just... That was it. Yeah, for the most part. So, Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're having a start in final mode. Okay, and we're back into Galvatron's last mode. Now, this one is like a... I don't know even know what you want to call it. Like a uh, space tank airplane mode. Mainly space tank. Or kind of, because he got his treads on there. But his third mode. It's okay. It's not my favorite mode of the three. I don't think. I think my favorite mode is the cannon mode. And the robot mode, I mean, you know, between robot mode and cannon mode, I think they're great. Um, this one is good looking, though. I mean, you can picture it as whatever you want to. Down inside here in the cockpit, we've got Megs sitting inside there. So he just pops out, and he sits right inside there. And you close that up. And again, I do like the clear orange here. I think this one, this one actually is a, is a lot clearer. Maybe it gets a smaller piece, and the plastic's probably thinner. But this one's clearer than the cannon is itself. Um, but it's a nice mode. Uh, you look at the bottom there; you can see the treads. You really can't make any robot bits here. Uh, well, I guess down here you can see kind of see the crotch, uh, the crotch piece there. He's got a little bit of a landing gear he can sit on there, like that. Uh, in the back, you can see, again, all they did was just extended his legs up and open and pegged him into these sides here. And that's the little mode you got there. So an all-around decent uh, mode. Final thoughts on the figure itself. I think it's a good, I think it's a good looking figure. I think they did a great job getting him into his cannon mode. I love his cannon mode. I think it's really neat. Uh, the one thing I didn't touch on as we were inside robot mode, and I'll go ahead and just show it real quick here. Let me get this cannon out of here. That just plugs into the bottom right there. So in his chest, I didn't touch on this. So you can get any of the Titan Masters, again, just as they have said, and you can plug them into there. And the mask itself sits there. It's not it's not connected to it in any way. In other words, it's not going to let me get come on there. Let me get Megs back out here. He's in here. It's not connected, so when I first saw it I was like, yeah, that's kinda of funky looking. But then I realized why, you know, why they did it that way. And it was so that way you could take off the head and uh, and have it to play with, though. So if we kind of look at it right there, and if we can kind of get in closer there, the face kind of sits in deep, and it's because, again, the way the mask flips down just kind of sits up here on it. So that's the one thing that did bug me, and I forgot to mention it inside robot mode. But just, I think that, I don't know, I, I wish they could have done a better job than this. I see why they had to do it this way again but I think they could have maybe figured out a better way maybe not made this so thick this plastic here maybe if it was just a little bit thinner it would have set more flush with his face um, but just a minor gripe um, and then my other gripe was just Megatron not having very many colors on him I say Megatron but that's not his real name his name is uh, Nucleon so uh, again this is Jack with Toy Dojo 
As always, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this figure. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of the figure, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.